repositioning someone who has problems with mobility can be very challenging, but with the right techniques and approach, it can be done. All you need is a little education and using gravity and leverage to your advantage. Here are some basic but very important rules. First, never lift anything or any one that you cannot comfortably handle. Prepare to lift with your feet a shoulder width apart, back straight, and one foot slightly in front of the other. We'll call that the proper stance. Also, let the legs do the work, not your back. Rule number two, plot out your move and be sure of what you can and cannot do. If your loved one can help with the move, let him or her do so. Also, make sure that your loved one's socks or footwear do not have slippery soles. Rule number three, make sure you don't have to move someone too far from where you're starting. Bring a chair or wheelchair close to the bed, for example, lock the brakes, and keep foot and arm rests out of the way. Always let your loved one know what it is you're planning to do. Be gentle but direct. Before you lift, get as close as you can to your loved one and avoid having his or her arms around your neck. You could both fall that way. Remember to keep the proper stance, back straight, knees slightly bent, and weight balanced evenly. Now pivot and don't twist your body towards your destination. As you pivot, relax the shoulders and begin to lower. If you need more help with this sort of maneuver, you can use a gate belt or a transfer belt like this one. This is a cotton belt with a metal buckle which is placed around a person's waist. A good rule when fastening this belt is the two finger rule. As you tighten, make a space so two fingers can fit inside. This makes the belt tight enough not to slip and you can firmly hold it to help with lifting or lowering. These same transferring skills can be used to support your loved one in and out of a car or on and off the toilet. At the toilet, have your loved one hold on to a grab bar while you help with clothing. Notice the elevated toilet seat here. It's a big help if your loved one has knee problems or trouble with walking because it reduces the distance needed to lift or lower. It simply rests or bolts onto the regular seat. If no grab bar is available, pull the chair up diagonally to the toilet, move away the arm and foot rests, and help your loved one swing over to the toilet seat and then back when the toileting task is complete. If you're moving your loved one into a car, roll the wheelchair up close to the passenger seat, lock the chair's wheels, move the foot rests, and lift him or her up. When you are both standing, pivot toward the car seat and lower him or her into the car, making sure the head doesn't bump into the frame. Then, with your hands under your loved one's knees, lift his or her legs into the car. If you're putting your loved one to bed, first sit him or her on the bed's edge and as far back as possible. Then gently lift and swing the legs onto the bed. This will help his or her upper body to roll into place. Once your loved one is lying flat, place a small pillow under his or her head to allow for the spine's natural curvature. Okay, Jimmy, I'm gonna push you up a little bit. To move your family member further up on the bed, get him or her to help by bending the knees and, if possible, pushing up against the mattress. To help your loved one sit up on the edge of the bed, put one arm under the shoulder blades and the other arm under the knees. Get in the proper lifting stance and tell your loved one exactly when you're going to move. Gently bring the legs over the edge of the bed as you lift his or her body into a sitting position. What we've been showing you here is how to move or position your family member safely, but accidents do happen and despite all our good intentions and efforts, your loved one may fall. If it's a slow slide to the floor while you're moving your loved one, let him or her down gently to the floor. If you try too hard to hold him or her up, both of you may risk injury. On the other hand, if the fall is hard, call 911 and get professional help for your loved one as soon as possible. So, 
How do you get your loved one up off the floor once he or she has fallen? If your loved one doesn't use a wheelchair, help him or her get on hands and knees and then bring the strongest foot forward while half kneeling on the other leg. Now, with a chair or other sturdy object in front, help your loved one pull up with his or her arms and push off on the stronger foot to a standing position with both feet together. There are a number of devices you can use to lift, transfer, or help your loved one. But the ones we've covered in this video are for the home caregiver who may not have access to these. Talk to your doctor, physical therapist, or occupational therapist for advice on those which are right for your situation. And finally, a reminder. If you're helping to move a loved one with ambulation challenges, you as the caregiver need to focus on your own health and well-being. In order to be the best caregiver you can be, you need to take care of you.